Hi, this is Zach May with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Tuesday the 19th of March. Starting off with the FTSE 100, which remains uh, painful to watch in terms of the slow price action. Basically just backing off the top of the range there near 7800. But an uptrend line there from back in February, that's around uh, 7670. And then the uh, 50 day line hopefully coming in as support uh, 7627. The ideal scenario is that we rebound uh, above or at or above the 7700 level and then head up to 78.50 maybe by the end of next month. Moving on to the DAX where uh, the price action has been rather more uh, robust. Here we're still hanging on that old target line there, the September one, the red one there, 17,900. Above that looking for a move to the top of the rising October trend channel as high as 18,500 by the end of next month. On the downside, the uh, current March support, the favoured area, 17,600. And if the worst case at the moment would be the floor of that channel, 17,400. Moving along to the situation at the Dow. And uh, here you can see that uh, still uh, bumping along the bottom of that rising trend channel from October. Uh, the support above the rising 50-day line, which is a, a good thing. And uh, that currently around 38,300. Ideally, we stay above uh, recent support, 38,500, and if we're really lucky, uh, the 38,600 area, which is the floor of that channel. We need to break through the 39,000 level again to give us a chance of hitting that uh, red September resistance line up to 40,000 by the end of next month. The next market here is um, Bitcoin, and uh, here a bit of a rug pull at the end of last week uh, and uh, further rug pull uh, today breaking through the floor of that rising trend channel from uh, back in January suggests that really 60,000 probably the uh, initial support here worst case is that we head back down to the 50 day line currently at 56,000 but uh, at the moment probably get, still going for 60,000 rather than anything lower than that to get back in bullish mode really back above uh, 67 or 68,000 which has been recent resistance and the old record peak uh, for this particular situation. Moving on to gold, uh, which uh, backed off its highs, but has bounced off old resistance as we wanted it to. 2150, the old resistance area back in uh, December. In fact, it was 2152, and the low today so far at uh, 2149, so that's pretty good. While we're above uh, 2150 on an end of day close basis, looking for 2200 over the next couple of weeks, and then up towards the uh, Best case scenario target July resistance line from last year, 2260 by the end of next month. Below 2150 though, and not much support there until 2080. Moving on to the stocks, and one of the heroes of the recent past is, uh, seems to be back again in the form of uh, active energy. Here you can see that uh, we have uh, pulled back quite sharply. We were looking for a potential gap fill there up towards 1.67, but obviously didn't quite happen. The high around 1.47. Current situations, we've bounced off the top of that gap, which is a very bullish sign, in fact, and looking for an end of day close above the 50 day moving average of 0.77. Above that, looking for a retest of the 1.5 pence zone, hopefully by the end of next month. But the key here, remaining above half a penny. On to Alchemy, which uh, seems to have come back to life. Here you can see that uh, having another go at the 50 day moving average that is there at 83 pence or 83 and a half. We've got bullish divergence there as well. So we had new lows for uh, March uh, below the old uh, January support there at 77 pence and above 77. We're looking for up to uh, one pound or one pound uh, five pence, which is basically where, where the shares were at the beginning of the year. Moving along to uh, Clontarf, which uh, seems to have rehabilitated itself in the recent past. Uh, as you can see, though, unfortunately, uh, every time it goes up towards the 06 level, uh, somebody comes in and sells it. So it's a one day wonder. We want to see an end of day close above the 50 day line currently at 04 to then give us another chance uh, for a move towards 06 or 07 over the course of the next few weeks. But uh, difficult to avoid the uh, notion there that uh, every rally is sold into. Moving on to Emerson, which uh, hasn't moved today, but it's been quite firm in recent days. Rising above, in fact, just moving now, rising above a rising 50-day line. Hasn't touched that basically since uh, the beginning of January, which is a very bullish sign. And uh, looking for a break of 2.8 pence to give us 3.6 pence as soon as the end of next month. Upside certainly valid while we're above the 50-day line at 2.3 pence. 
on to Farron, which uh, I've covered a few times in the recent past. Here we've had a W shaped reversal and a gap to the upside. Above that 164 level, we're looking for up to uh, £2.20, which is uh, or was the old support area back in June and the current area of the 50 day moving average. Hopefully, that can happen over the next two to three weeks, but only while we're above that 164 pence level. Good to see uh, Gfinity finally uh, bouncing hard, and uh, hopefully it's not just a one-day wonder, as we had back in October, November. Uh, but at the moment, above the 50-day line, points uh, 04, we're looking for the 200-day line at point 07 over the next few days. Best case scenario here, if you're a fan of the shares, maybe by the end of next month we're up to point 0.1, but that obviously does rely on this not just being a one-day wonder or a few-day wonder which is what we've had in the recent past. One of the smoothest charts on the upside uh, is MPAC, and here you can see that we've had a rising trend channel in place since October. Top of the channel there, heading for as high as £5. We're looking for that by the end of next month, while we remain above the latest gap for around £3.82 and the floor of that rising trend channel. On to Oracle Power, and uh, here first signs of a potential recovery after a rather red uh, devastating and deep uh, bear run there for the shares. Uh, here you can see that we've uh, had a sideways move along the floor of that rising trend channel. Uh, the floor there around uh, what the 0 0.2 level, 0 0.2 and a half, and looking for up to 0 0.3 and a half by the end of next month, if we can have a, a decent clearance of the 50-day moving average currently at 0 0.26. On to uh, a rather brighter picture, and it's uh, the Pebble Group. And uh, here you can see that... Uh, Rising trend channel base above a rising 50-day line, a sideways shuffle that we had last week, and looking for the shares to easily hit the upper 70s or maybe 80 pence over the next two to three weeks. Best case scenario by the end of next month is we fill the gap down from November around 84 pence. Upside valid while we hold above the 64 pence level on an end-of-day close basis. So reasonable risk-reward tight range there. Moving on to Powerhouse Energy, which uh, has been uh, rehabilitated. We had an on full gap to the upside. Golden Cross last week, uh, helping the cause. V-shaped bull flag, as I call it, mid-move consolidation. Old uh, resistance becoming new support. So we're looking for 1.3 pence or 1.4 pence by the end of next month. And look, both the way things are going could even be by the end of this month. I uh, would like to see the share stay above that uh, 0.8 pence zone. On to Renalytics, where we're hoping there'll be another re revival of the uh, two spikes through the 200-day moving average that we had both for uh, February and March. So maybe it's third time lucky in uh, hitting that 200-day uh, line and staying above it. So that's currently at 57 pence. Upside value while we're above the 50-day uh, line, currently at 24. So above 24, looking for the 200-day uh, line at 57, ideally. We stay above the 30 pence level, which is was that old target line there from back in December. Uh, another repeat from earlier in the week, Savannah, and uh, here pushing through the 200-day uh, line and looking for that uh, resistance line projection from September, 3.8 pence, hopefully by the end of this month, and uh, ideally we stay above the old target here at 2.7 pence. In the meantime, obviously the big bigger picture there would be up to 5 pence. Uh, but uh, we're looking for that 3.8 pence area first. On to the last two. First one is uh, T42, and here uh, doing a bit of a clontoff where uh, every rally seems to be a one day wonder. But we've got that 200 day line there at 3 and 3 quarter pence, and above that, looking for up to 7 pence by the end of next month as a best case scenario. Obviously, the alternative is, is that we just keep bumping along the bottom near the 3 pence level. Finishing off with Vesarium, where you can see that uh, we've had a decent base put in place to, well, many gaps to the downside, but uh, on the right-hand side, we've got this uh, push above a rising 50-day line. The initial resistance there from back in December, January, around 0.28 above that, we're looking for up to 0.6 pence as a best-case scenario. That would also fill that gap down that we had back in November. Obviously, uh, what the fundamentals are driving that uh, remains a mystery in terms of uh, this particular video. But uh, at least while we're above the February resistance of 0.19, looking for 0.28, and then as high as 0.6, which would be some uh, decent recovery for the shares. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.